I know, I know, I'm jumping onto the film bandwagon. In this video, I'll tell you why. Stick around. So if you've watched any of my videos over time, you've seen that I have shot film and that film has been a part of this channel. Not a huge part, but I've done a couple videos uh, about my Nikon FE2. I'll link a video up here so you can check it out. There's one called 36 Exposures. Uh, I've been shooting film since the late uh, mid to late 70s and I continued on all the way until 2003 when I switched over to Nikon Digital uh, and then on to Fuji and now uh, Leica. Now the natural progression for me was to go ahead and purchase a Leica M6. It's been a holy grail camera for me, something that I've always wanted and I'm finally in a position where I could afford it and I went ahead and got it. I did sell off some of my Fuji gear to make it happen. But, I'm excited. I've got it, I love it. It's a blast to shoot with. Uh, I have the TT Artisan 50 millimeter that I shot some of these images that I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, up here so you can take a look. Uh, these are just some of the first shots. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some more episodes on uh, different things that I've done with the Leica M6, different photo shoots. Uh, there's one coming up regarding Bodhi. Uh, Bodhi is a ghost town on the eastern slope of the Sierras, and there's gonna be an episode that talks about that. Uh, but film photography is something that I've been into for a lot of years. I actually worked in a photo lab and for a company uh, that uh, we did film photography and then converted it to digital back in the early 2000s. Uh, I've worked with lab equipment. I've had a dark room. I've scanned images. You know, I've done all the things. So I have a lot of knowledge and experience around film photography. Now, is it uh, modern? You know, all the modern ways that people are processing film? No, and I have a lot to learn. And that's what makes it even more exciting. You know, it's awesome. It's fun. It's exciting. It. It reminds me of when I was a kid and I'm having fun with it. Now, does this mean that I'm ditching digital? No, I have this Fuji X-T4 that I'm filming this video with. Uh, I also have the Leica Q2, which I'm gonna continue to make videos about uh, and show you uh, images from that and photo shoots I've done with that camera. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with the M6 and the Leica Q2, uh, but I still love my Fuji X-T4. I only have the 35 millimeter F2 and the 10 to 24 for the Fuji now. Uh, I'm really limiting uh, you know, what I'm doing uh, based on the majority of images that I've taken in the past. I looked through and I really didn't use the 50 to 140 very often or the 18 to 55. So I really didn't need those lenses. And my old Fuji X-T2 uh, was just sitting collecting dust. So I was able to trade all that in as well as the 56 1.2. Uh, and then I'm gonna be doing some uh, portrait work, but with the Leica Q2. And I'm curious to see what kind of results I get with that as well as the M6. I do have a new 35 millimeter uh, Voigtlander lens, the Nocton, that I added to my collection along with the TT Artisan 50 millimeter. So uh, no more gear for me. Now it's just photo shoots and making videos and getting content out to you. So I'm really curious what your thoughts are. Uh, also, what your thoughts are about this whole look and feel of the studio. Changed out the lighting. I'm using natural light on this side with a window. I've got an aperture light back there. Uh, sound might have a little bit of an echo because I'm doing camera top uh, with a uh, Rode uh, microphone. So I'm curious what your thoughts are about everything and if you have any questions, anything that you'd like to learn about film photography or the setup that I have, how I'm using it. Uh, you're going to see some videos in the future with examples and different photo shoots that I've done and I'll be getting those out uh, hopefully on a regular basis. I know that consistency has always been my biggest issue, uh, but I'm not making any promises. I'm just going to go ahead and make content when it works for me. Uh, but you know, the more the better, I guess. Uh, for the algorithm and I'm working on that. So uh, once again, any comments, questions, anything at all, feel free to drop them below. I am interested to hear your thoughts and questions and what your interests are. Uh, so once again, my name is John Weinberg. This is Photo 4A. And until next time, take care.